Welcome back to Theme Journals. I'm April. Okay, so huh, I um, have a haul from the Dollar Twenty Five store, and I have a haul from Amazon. So let me show you what I got. It all came in today with the same package. So I just opened the box. Um, I haven't opened any of the actual pieces yet. That's all right. All right. This it will be for. This is citrus green gilding polish. Let's take a peek at this, shall we? Oh, it's gonna make great. It doesn't smell. That's good. It it'll make great um, gilding polish for the sunflower leaves on my summer journals. And then, um, I got this Bronze Age. Gilding Paste. It's a different company. This is um, this is from Cosmic Shimmer Metallic Gilding Polish. So it's Cosmic Shimmer. Um, I think that's the name of the company. It may not be. And this is from Metallic. No. Finnablair. No. Finnabar. Bear. Finnabar. Art Alchemy. All right, so we're going to open this because I'm just curious to see what, make sure what color it is. Because the picture showed the color I wanted, but you know how pictures are. Sometimes they are true and sometimes they're better and sometimes they're not so good. So let's see if the color, this is the real color I want. Ah. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, that's the exact color I want. Woot woot. Okay. Um, that will go on the centers of the sunflower. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Now these are the corners I needed to finish the Mother's Day journal. Ugh. And, and they're the same set of four that I got before. So I've got the copper, the silver, and this is the color I needed right here. And this is just a duplicate. I bought two simply because they only had 25 in each pouch because there's 100 pieces and there's four colors. So 25 in each pouch. So now I have 50 and I have enough to finish my um, stuff. So that's good news. All right. Okay, I don't have time to put those away right now. Ugh. Okay, I think it's gonna stay this time. All right, now for my haul from the Dollar Twenty Five store. I I just went in there for Mother's Day cards. Yeah, mm -hmm, true story. And you know, couldn't resist a look around. Yeah, I should have looked, resisted. But when you find stuff that you like, then you just grab it. And... Because at the Dollar Tree, if you don't grab it right then, forget about it. It won't be there next time you come in. Okay, so I, I know I got one more of these. What is it? Huh. I got red, gold, and blue. I have to go check my receipt. All right, this is 26 gauge wire, all three colors. And I know I had four. Oh, I had green, I think. Because so I was thinking of Christmas and Christmas beads, or I had silver, one of the two. So I, I have in mind a travel journal. And I got a bunch of these travel 
things. So I got this style and I got this style of stickers. And yeah, I bought them all out. Oh, I got travel latches. So this will be fun to use. And then book ends and then, you know, book stacks, book ends. It says, oh, this is puff. All right. Then I got this travel. I've got a briefcase, an old drinking thing. Yeah. Bookends again. So I don't know when I'm going to be doing my travel journal, but yeah. I found all these stickers for the travel journal, so I just grabbed them. I'm going to put these over here in my sticker cabinet. All right, so that takes care of the haul part of this video. Now, let's get on to what I really need to work on this afternoon. Now, this will premiere on Monday because I didn't want my aunt to see this until after I, she had a chance to see it with her own eyes. Okay, so this has ripped terribly on me, and this has been in existence since the 1800s. And so you can see what a mess it is. All right. So in order for me to really get on board and, you know, really start working hard on this, I, I needed to talk to you about a few things that I'll need to do. And okay. So let's talk about the outside. All right, let's see here. So you can see that the original book frame was made from wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch these. And it's, you know, barely held on to. And then you can see here. The same thing on this corner, barely hanging on to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch this and I can't match the, I cannot match the original fabric. I cannot match anything. I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to make it obvious that it's patched so it, it can look like I've patched it on purpose. Um, there's nothing about this restoration that is going to match the original because I don't have any of the original pieces. So as you can see, the frames need to be, you know, strengthened and re-glued together and the backings need to be put on. Yeah, it's quite the mess. Okay, but that's not really what I wanted to talk to you all about before we start. All right. So let's take a peek at how this was originally constructed. Okay, so they had a piece of cardboard here, and then they had fabric and another piece of cardboard here. Now let's look at this. See, it's wood. This is wood. These are wood um, pieces. And what they did is they must have slit the wood down here and made a hinge so that the hinge would allow the book to open. So we got to duplicate that. Then what happened is this extension, see, there's an extension. Let me show you. See this right here? That's the extension. And it allowed you to turn the pages. And it, all, this extension was also glued to the back, which was a piece of fabric. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me uh, zoom in. All right. So you can see that piece of fabric here. Yeah. And that was then, let me show you. Then it was, again, glue sandwiched between this board here, which was paper, the veneer, and then the wood wooden frame. It was glued in. Very ingenious, I must say. I, I'm, I'm definitely in admiration of the people who did this. Um, excellent workmanship and it lasted for many, many years. Okay. So that's what we have to, 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 to do. I uh, what I have to duplicate, um, is to protect the book 
from further harm is that I have to rehinge these. Now, I'm not going to take anything off. I'm just going to add two. Um, so let me get out my notepad that Hazel sent me. And let's take some measurements because we need to know how long this is. So let's see here. zero right there okay let's see looks like 10 and seven three three fourths so up and down is 10 and three fourths inches all right all right then let's see we're gonna do the bias Let's see here. That's a three quarter inch. All right, now there's one other thing that we have to measure. Let's find one that is a double. All right, now we have to figure out how much of a in between that the person left. Oops, nope, nope, bad April. Oh, I've been doing, oh. Mm -hmm. That's three quarter inch. Looks like they like three quarter inches. Um, this is the, uh, what, what would this be called? Um, Shoot. Um, I'm going to call it the in between. And that is also three fourths of an inch. Okay. Okay. Now we got to count up these pages. Um, Because as you can see, they put two pages together at a time. So we got to know how many pages we got so we can duplicate that. All right. All right, see? So if it's in, I'm, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to try to do anything with it. But see, this one's not in. So we'd have to rehinge it and glue it back to this little piece. Yeah. All right, so those two are taken care of. The next two are in. All right, and this is the first broken one, so we'll have to hinge this one. So now we have to really count. We have two that need to be rehinged. Okay, two equals rehinge. All right, now uh, one, that's one. Uh, well, we need to rehinge re three, three, four, five. Five completely out equals completely out. It may not make sense to you right now, but in my head, it's there. Last one equals last page equals rehinge. All right, now we got that information. Now what we need to do is take out all these loose ones because I what I need to do is do another measurement but I can't do it with these loose pages in um ugh. 
This poor thing has seen better days, but we're going to try to get it back up to par. All right. Little kid. All right. Now, what I'm going to attempt to do is... Nope. All right. All right, I'm gonna to have to make a mold um, of this. I need to make a mold so I can get the proper, proper. All right, let's just double check the length because the cover is always longer than the, um, Yeah, this this backing will is is eleven inches. Okay, so spine equals eleven inches. Okay, now I think this is a four or a five inch spine, but I can't. Mm. All right, let's try it this way then, April. All right, that's properly extended. Let's see. <clears throat> No, it's a one inch, it's one inch. All right, that's the inside measurement, actually, April. Okay, inside spine, outside. Spine equals one inch inside. And I still need to do the, um, let me get a piece, piece of scrap paper. I'll be right back. I uh, should not lack for scraps of paper. No, no, no. Let's see here. All right, I can use this piece of paper. Okay. Now, what I'm going to attempt to do is, is this long enough? No, it's not long enough. All right, so I need to make a, I can still make, I can still make the uh, calculations from here. Okay, so this is on one side. Let's roll this to the other side. And the other side will give us what we need. All right, so I have the edge of the paper on the other side exactly where I want it. You know, <clears throat> let's, um, let's see. Oh, my pencil's on my lap. All right. So what I wanna do, what I'm doing is putting a mark here and I, I need to make a mark here. And then, mm, okay, I know how to make. Now, what I wanna do is figure out where the tip of that corner is. Oh. And mark a mark here, there. That's our template. <laughs> I know. What can I say? All right. Now, that's the spine. This is where we need to bring this tip to. All right. Let's see. Right there. All right. Let's just make sure. Yeah, that's exactly where we want it to be. All right. Now, let's measure this, and that's a half an inch, and a, yep, nope, a little bit more. That's a half an inch in one tick. All right.
Okay. Now let's measure this end. And that is This is, let's measure this and see how many inches this is across. Not two and a half. All right, now, um, I figured that the, I think the front had a vermilion color on it when it was brand new. Um, so I'm going to get out my vermilion. And match everything to the vermilion. All right. Of the new stuff, anyway. All right. Now, let me get... The lace, I, I want to show you the lace I have in mind for this. And let me get the other fabric for this. All right. Now, we can't make this look old per se. Um, I figured I would put this on the outer spine once I, I've made the... Um, let's see how long this is. Um, that's about three inches. All right, no worries. Because this is pretty and it's lacy and it looks vintagey to me. Okay, you may disagree, but that's okay. All right. So let's look back at our measurements before we start cutting. You, you measure twice and cut once. That is the absolute rule. All right. Now, the bias is three quarters of an inch. The in-between is a qu three quarters inch. That's on the inside. No, that's the uh, three quarters. Let me look at this again. And I, like I said, I don't want to make a mistake because this is too old to make a mistake on. I'll tell you that much right now. Okay, let's see if I can flip this back to the other side. All right, hang on. I'm thinking out loud, or I'm thinking, I'm thinking. All right, let me think. Um, yeah, 10 and three quarter inches, okay. only need a half an inch to put this no probably all right let's see if I can do you can laugh at me while I try to do fractions three fourths plus three fourths is let's see common the neighbor is two three now it goes in once, doesn't it? And we have two fours. 
No, you just add the numbers, April. You're a dink bat. All right. So three and three is six, and four and four is eight, and then you reduce. That's what you do, April. All right, the common den denominator of four uh, is two. Two. So that means this is four. Two is three. Two times three is six. Three fours. Well, that doesn't make any sense. All right. All right. Let, all right. Let's try this again. Three fours plus three fours. So that's eight on the bottom and six on the top. Is it what in three fourths? Or do you go out? To, I know you go out to the side. Equals, equals. All right. Let's see. Thank you, April. Common denominator. Okay. I can't do this. That's a three-fourths. That's a quarter. All right, let's see if I can find this on my ruler. You can laugh at me some more. So this is three-fourths, all right, right here. It's a quarter between here and here, and then it's another inch to here. And then another quarter, so it's one and a half. Yeah. Because, yeah, one and a quarter. One and a quarter, all right. By the time I figure this stuff out, I can't remember why I'm, I'm needing to know this information. One and a quarter. Well, let's just write this down. One and one half. All right. All right, let's do. Let's start with something easy before I go into the hard stuff. Okay, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do some easy stuff. Okay, good idea, April. All right, now I've got this calico. This beautiful calico. Thank you, Renita. All right. All right. Let's see if we can find the vermilion. Marmalade, sepia, um, something suit, black suit, okay. Monarch orange. Bandit. Oh, you're so annoying. All right. Coffee. Hey, you knock it off. Sepia is like a reddish brown, or vermilion is a reddish brown. Barn door, vermilion. Here we go. Sort of like I think that was the close to the original color. Okay, so got that, and we're gonna do a 11 inches by what was this 11 inches by how many did I say two and a half all right because we need the curve as well two and a quarter so this is 11 by two one fourths inch all right all right Right, 
So the first measurement we need is 11 inches right here. All right. Now, I'm going to use my gold. Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, I think, no. Nope. Uh, this is my favorite gold one. Okay. So that's 11 inches. Let's shake this real quick. And then we're going to make a mark down here. That's 11 inches. All right. I will be back on part two of this and I will talk to you soon. Bye.